I had to take that screenshot right there. Oh man. Plus, it'll take your mind off work. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? Load that up. I'll walk you through it. Oh, we got. We just have a USB port on our effing shooter. Excuse me. I set up holograms to guide you. Scan the source. Holograms, huh? Bro, are we about to? My moves? <laughs> this was in my playbook before you even born, young blood. Are we about to make a beat, bro? Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds, clear my head. Scan the holograms and it'll unlock files on that drive I gave you. Help you figure out which sound you're looking for. All right, hold L2 and press triangle to play original sample. Now try and find the original sound and grab a clean sample. So it's definitely like one of those little things. I don't think it's going to be the ship. I bet it's this thing that's lit up red, probably. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, perfect. That's perfect, oh, right? That's good. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Yeah, 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 that's it. Damn, so all we got to. Oh, dude, that is amazing. The rest of the sounds you need are spread across the city. I left a few messages for you too, to help you get a feel for each location. Bro, oh, what? Dope. Okay, so like that little mini intro there that is actually uh, comes from a campaign mission itself. The game now opens up an extra activity you can do, which is sound sample. So Aaron Davis, AKA the Prowler, gives you the opportunity to go through and collect different sound samples that him and his brother, Jefferson Davis, AKA Miles' father was working on. So let's go through I'm going to show you guys each of the locations and actually where the item is so you can easily get these done, basically. And so you can also get this part of the campaign mission in case you are one of the people that's not going to pick up the game, but you're still curious about what it looks like. So for this one in Harlem, all we have to do is actually wait. Mechanical? We have to wait for this train to pass. As the train's passing, you'll press an R3 to be able to record the sample, which is just the trains running over the tracks. Like right here, see how it's matching? Now we're going to do R3. And there we go. So I actually had to move over a little bit to the right in order to record this. I grew up not far from here before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop. Always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. The dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah, sounds like that. Oh hey, man. The app says the donation stand's being robbed. Right now. I, I don't. Stand I don't. Robbed. Yeah, we can. So for this one, all we have to do is actually stand right here in the middle of this crosswalk. Look up there where I was initially standing. You can't record for some reason, but right here, looking directly at it, easy record for the first one. So this next one right here is on the Upper East Side. It's right here in front of this building. Bada bing, bada bop. What we got? Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. So this one's actually interesting because I thought it was going to be cars moving over this. Here's the original sound. And I was like, it seems like cars would hit off that, but it's actually up here on this water tower. And well, if we can climb. So this one, I'm actually Something too close. Been around a while. It's actually this, I just gotta back all the way up. And there we go. So about right here, almost towards the edge of actually where the shadow is. If you just look right here at the ice, water dripping off on the ice, we can go ahead and record it. Hell yeah, brother! It's subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the problem. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But last though, your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Yeah, no Hello, doubt. Aaron. 
No doubt, dude. Than anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Well, you know, he's not wrong. Next one we're going to do, we're going to go right over here to Central Park. I hate how the activity things are following me. I'm not doing them right now. We're going to go ahead and go to Central Park and try to get this sound sample. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Birds. In a group. Birds. Uh, hmm. Right there. So for this one, it's probably going to be these birds. Uh, they come back in case you scare them away. You don't have to go find another group. You can just wait for these. Like, it took, like, what, five seconds? So I'm going to camouflage. And then... Something you'd always find here. Too far? Damn, we got to get up close on these things. No. You just walk right up on them. Camouflage for the win. How, how, how did they record it is actually a great question. Before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. The dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Drop the glizzy. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. I admire people that know how to do something like that like that's music take sounds and turn that into beats or whatever it could be i've tried once and it is not for me and people that can do it seriously hats off to you because that shit is so impressive this one's right here on the upper west side it's like it's right outside a fire station actually yeah look at that first time i remember seeing the fire department this is a good one me and your dad used to hang around here listen while the whole station came alive that's what you need. Something at the station. Well, I gotta cause a fire. So this one, here's your original sound, right? Clearly, it's it's one of these running, but actually, the one you want to do is right here. It's actually inside the garage little thing here with them standing outside. Walk up a little bit on it. Bada bing, bada boom. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. He said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. You did make things better, Dad. And so will I. I can kind of see both sides of the family, honestly. The way that that's going. This one's in, like, the busiest part of the city. Right here in Midtown. Look at all this stuff. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose it. Sound you need like an electric current. A current? Is this an... She with venom. <laughs> nah. You could. Is this a nod to uh, Electro attacking this in the uh, Spider-Man game? I'm too close. We have a perfect match. It's going to be right here. I'm just too close to it. So I probably want to get on top of this billboard. Yeah, so get on top of the billboard. And then once you're here, the initial audio is simply just that humming sound. It's actually this American flag that's lit up with LEDs right here. Oh, so go and do your record. Yeah, Miles, we got it, bro. I had to give my little spiel, brother. Oh, that's cool. Love how alive that feels. You After I started can... calling myself a problem. Met my first client right under this sign. Neon flags hard to miss. And the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. Never said anything. Just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. That was enough. I that hurts. I saw where you were headed long before I did. If he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. It's not that simple, Miles. It's not that simple. Me, you, dog. And look, in the middle of this, I had just enough points to buy this right here, to buy this suit. Since it has the backpack and it has the headphones, since we're getting the beats, it just, it feels like we should be using this right now. And the next one right here is, I feel like a lot of stuff is in Greenwich. Like, a lot of stuff. More so than some of the, the other ones. always feels like someone's celebrating. Even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so, too. So we had to include. A sound that tells time. Okay. A clock. Maybe. 
So the bell tower. Okay, so for this one, it can be a little tricky because you have all this area over here. But honestly, if you look straight up right here where the actual icon is, it's the church bells. Right here is too close. So if you just do one zip on top of this thing, and then you can look up from there. Hard she blows. Just like that. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. Don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. <laughs> Probably pretended to. complicated between them. A peanut butter milkshake does sound fire right now, though. And if you've never had one and you like peanut butter, go get one. Like, safely, of course. So this one's over here, actually, in Chinatown. I don't feel like we've done hardly anything over here, have we? A couple things. Not everything, though. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. You ain't lying. It's light. Distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Oh, you say light or life? I didn't look at the subtitle. So this one's easy to confuse the drummer for because of the beat, but you can clearly tell it's like a chime of some sort, and which would be right here. Presumably just the wind chimes over here in the Asian market. And, oh, wait, wrong button. Hold down, get the record. And now we can get our audio message. Give me more of the story, Davis. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy Nothing. Paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his wallet. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. But he never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. Better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. Man, you know what really is breaking my heart about this is I feel like they were on bad terms when he passed. I feel like this was the exact same spot. There was like a hidden image in Spider-Man PS4 as well as a like Taskmaster challenge. I'm almost 100% positive this is the same location as that. Have fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting, listening, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule. So for this one, it's actually the ferry. All you have to do, web zip up from right there on this point up to the American flag. And then you just want to kind of wait for the ferry to do its horn thing, you know? Wait for it. Wait for it. Sound of something on a schedule. It's it's oh, right here. Alliteration. There you go. Ferry horns. That's right. Yeah, yeet. Clients I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Work for him was good money. Till he got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him, but he caught me. That'd be me. I, I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. True. I feel like we saw something about a side mission there, but one thing I do love hey, real quick. Bud, oh, there we go. You got almost everything you need for the track. Almost. You just unlock the spot where you can find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Let's go to it. All right, so I'm currently zipping over here to back to the beginning, which is the last portion of this, the soundtrack, Prowler, whatever, whatever's going to happen here. Finding the audio samples. Oh, jump too high. Subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Whoa. Yo. The lab, the basement thing. Nah, we'll go with layer. I like the green dragon. I like all the dragon stuff, actually. There's a lot of stuff to check out here. There's a suit, some cloth, 
what we got going on here, brother? Unc. Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He really does, though. His network for years. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about. Uh, can't remember. All right, last thing. Wait, first of all, ray tracing. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Made you something should keep you safe. Use the sound of the city. Wait, what? Use the sounds. Bro. Frequency lock? <laughs> Something new every day. That is amazing. Hey, and we have it. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger. Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. He didn't want you to turn out like me. True. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. Bro, look at this suit. That is amazing. Dude, holy shit. I wonder if you can ever go back in there. Nah. All of the TV concerned citizens reported a car chase. I'll ping it for you. Bro, let me get in the light real quick. Look at this thing. The only thing I don't like about these suits is you can't move the eyes, but I am perfectly okay with that, dude. Look at that detail on this thing. See the little hexagons there on the on the, like the uh, the facial features. Already got some little bit of dirt and stuff on for being in the locker, a little dust. Dude, the ray tracing for the stuff in the background glaring off that part of the suit, the extra canister. Every sound sample mission, basically, and it wraps up with Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, giving you this suit. I don't think it gave you anything. So no bonus, it didn't have any sort of bonuses with it to unlock uh, any extra abilities, visor mods, or suit mods, but still, nonetheless, this suit is, it's just incredible, man. I really like that. I wish I could play as the Prowler, but this purple rain suit will have to do. So guys, I have other stuff on the channel before Miles Morales. Uh, we have all the locations for everything that's on your map, showing you where everything's at, showing what the audio and stuff is. Not only that, but the entire Let's Play of this is currently being uploaded up to Jer Bear Plays. That link will be in the description box down below. I'm going to put playlists and stuff up on screen, recommended video, and the Miles playlist. And as always, make sure to check back for gameplays, commentaries, news, and updates. Later, nerds.